In the heart of central Oregon, Mount Bachelor stands tall. This mountain has an unusually large population of ski bums. In general, ski bums tend to fizzle out somewhere in their 20s, but if conditions are just right, others defy all odds and survive into their 40s. The middle-aged ski bum has been spotted throughout the Cascade Range. Its name comes from the Latin root middleus skibumus, or masba for short. Although this elusive Masba has been reported throughout the West, photographs and video footage have been hard to come by, and the evidence that has been presented has more often than not been shaky, blurry, or generally unviewable. Eyewitness accounts vary, but a few threads tie these sightings together. Rumors state that he stands 8 feet tall and has a slightly protruding belly. There is talk of racing stripes on his pants, and there seems to be an ever-present rooster tail that blindsides and pesters slower skiers. We've recently discovered some secret footage that sheds light on the habits of the middle-aged ski bum. As you can see, Mazbas get up early for first chair. They seem to live off a diet of coffee, ramen noodles, and their favorite food, PB&Js. Most ski bums reside in a home that is attached to wheels, and have a trusty steed named Subaru. The trusty Subaru is not only practical and efficient, but also doesn't seem to mind powering through nasty road conditions on the way up to the all-important first chair on a powder day. There is an old saying that states there is no such thing as friends on a powder day, but the behaviors of the middle-aged ski bum seem to disprove that saying. As you can see from this powder day chairlift dance party, friends are important, and they seem to have an excellent sense of rhythm. Because without friends, the middle-aged ski bum would have no one around who would listen as they brag about their big air. These ski bums have a strange ritual that brings them exceeding joy. They have a habit of speeding down the mountain and at the last minute sending a wall of spray on any easy victim who may be standing around. But it seems they try hardest to send spray onto someone who is face down in the snow. And speaking of being face down in the snow, for some reason these ski bums have a strange habit of falling down often. Our best guess is it's because of their old and creaky knees. If we listen closely, we can just hear the creak in their knees from years and years of mountain shredding. We're not sure, but we think the creaking in the knees could be some sort of mating call. When the weather is nasty and the powder is deep, ski bums find solace in the trees. They have been known to scour an entire mountain in search of tiny pockets of untouched powder. And when all the powder on the lift serve mountain is tracked out, they head to the surrounding hills and work for their turns in the backcountry. It's not uncommon for these ski bums to climb by the light of a headlamp just to get fresh tracks at daybreak in a ritual known as dawn patrol. Masba has an assortment of tools he carries to keep him safe and comfortable in the backcountry. A beacon, probe, shovel, snow saw, ice axe, worn out climbing skins, chapstick, slope finder thingy, headband, mittens, packable puffy coat, and a PB&J. Mm. After every inch of powder has been had, these ski bums leave the shelter of the trees and come out into the wide open spaces to feast on perfectly groomed corduroy. They can't help but raise their arms to the sky and give thanks to the snow gods for delivering the goods this year. They thank the snow gods by having more chairlift dance parties. But mostly, these middle-aged ski bums just like to carve deep trenches while going fast. To make sure the order of the ski bummery is not lost, it seems important to make sure the next generation of skiers has the proper training to carry on the torch. As you can see with their newest recruit, even at just barely two feet tall, this up and coming ski bum has what it takes. He feels right at home and most comfortable while skiing through the trees. He falls with style and grace and who likes to catch huge air. More than anything, this little ski bum likes to go fast.